Midnight brings Calais' new rush hour, each life with its own tragedy or hope on a nightly trek towards a single common goal. Their destination, this railway bridge, just metres from the Channel Tunnel entrance. Their first stop, the perimeter fence. It's demolished in minutes. The perimeter fence of the Euro Tunnel site here already has barbed wire. It already has 200 security personnel. But look what's happening. Two to 300 migrants just forcing their way in. For this tiny fraction of Europe's migrants, the UK is where they want to go. Why do you want to go to England? Because I want to see my family. I want to see my sister, my brother, my family. Four years, no see my family. But this mass movement has a momentum all its own. It's not long before the second fence is down. There's only one more to go. To their left, the tunnel entrance. To the right, the platforms where vehicles are loaded onto trains. At least nine migrants have died this summer already. Police arrive, but they're here to protect, not evict. The final barrier, razor wire, tackled with a blanket but it doesn't offer much protection against pepper spray. A few hundred migrants against two national governments and one major company. But the odds are worth it, they say. The police never catch us all. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Calais.